Gregory K. Davis was a 13-year district mechanic who regularly attended school board meetings, took part in educational organizations, and did so even after his three daughters had graduated from the DeKalb County School District. Davis was a man always known for standing up for what was right and was never afraid to speak up. Credited for having deep concern and commitment toward his fellow employees, the late Reverend Davis will now have the very facility he fought so hard for named in his honor. Monday, September 9th, DeKalb County Schools Fleet Building in Stone Mountain was renamed the Gregory K. Davis Fleet Service Center in honor of the school district's bus mechanic who would never stop driving for DeKalb County success. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please take your seats. Good morning to everyone. I'm Stephen Wilkins, Chief Operations Officer. I oversee transportation, facilities, and food services. Today, as we honor Greg's service as a great mechanic, I want to add that he was a former Marine who lived the motto, Semper Fi, always faithful in his daily work and life. Greg understood duty, loyalty, and teamwork to achieve the mission. Good morning. On behalf of the Board of Education, as chair, it is my honor and privilege to dedicate, to hold this dedication ceremony in memory of Mr. Gregory Davis. Mr. Davis was a great mechanic. He was a great friend of, this, of the school district. And as we proceed with this particular ceremony, I want each and every one of you to know, all of our auxiliary staff to know, that you are very valuable to the success of this great district. On behalf of the Board of Education, it is my honor, again, to uh, hold this dedication in Mr. Gregor, Mr. Davis's memory. At this time, I would ask our superintendent to come forward uh, for the remainder of the dedication. Good morning. This is a great day for the DeKalb County School District. It's a great day for Reverend Gregory Davis. It's a great day for the Davis family. And most importantly, it's a great day for the 14,000 men and women who are dedicated employees of our district. This is a testament and a monument to Reverend Gregory Davis, but more importantly, it's a testament to the value and importance of the human spirit. To Tiani Davis, to Ms. Ivory Davis, to Ms. Jaleesa Davis, to his mother, Ms. Denise Bowers, we are so proud we are so honored to his brothers and sisters who I've had the chance to meet and get to know, to nieces and nephews. This is a great day because we have come to honor a great man in a very, very special way. And now, without further ado, if Mr. Wilkins and Dr. Johnson and our Vice Chair, Mr. McMahon, will assist us, we will dedicate this building to the memory and to the legacy and the service of one of the very best that has ever set foot in this county and on this campus. <laughs> 